Good morning everybody and welcome to my humble abode once again. Today I've upgraded from 1.9.0 to 1.10.1 and in this particular mod there's a new there's a new mod. The new mod is called Storage Drawers. The storage Drawers basically you get I think it looks like there's four different types. There's no five different types of storage drawers. So you have the big storage drawer which holds 32 stacks per drawer and then you can have half that which is then 16 times 2 32 and then you can have quarter that which is 8 times 4 32 again what do we have here it's a drawer controller i don't quite know what i haven't done anything with those yet we'll explore those later on and you can also have these compact drawers a bit like a shelf which holds four stacks and then you can upgrade them. So we can upgrade them, for example, with a uh, a two, which basically means anything then would be doubled by three, by four, five, by eight, by thirteen times. And here we have some status upgrades. Shows filled level. Maybe that's useful too. What do we need for that? Our redstone. Okay, good. So let's just quickly go downstairs and get what we need. So it looks like we need some redstone. And what else did we need? We wanted some obsidian, I think. Have I got obsidian with me? Yes, I have plenty. Okay. So let's make the first one. In fact, I want to do this upstairs anyway. So let's do this upstairs because most of the wood's coming in upstairs. I need to fill in some bits and pieces. So here we have. Let's first of all make some, hmm, let's say make some half height ones. Okay, the recipe for that is two chests around uh, the top top and bottom middle, and then all the rest is wooden planks, so we'll do that first of all. So chest, let's make lots of chests. Here we have 64, that'll make eight chests. I think this, rest, this mod needs lots of chests. So then we'll put the, half the chests here and half the chests, oops. Didn't quite get that right, never mind, we'll do it again. Okay, and we have two, two storage drawers. I think that'll do for now. And then let's have a look at what the four one looks like. So that's basically four chests at the corners. Okay, so that means, let's take these out of here. If I double click, it should pick them all up, but it's not doing it. Now that time I got it. So the four chests, so uh, let's do one, two, three, four. Okay. And then we just make a cross of planks. And that gives us a four. And then we can make these templates here. This is a template, an upgrade template. And you need this for every single thing you're doing. So it looks like the cheapest one of these is actually just using a cabinet like this. It's one one chest which makes a jungle drawer and then around that we put uh, get that out of the way. so one chest where my chest gone to ah uh, here we are we'll do two at least two of these that not work no it didn't okay that's Two of those. I made eight. Okay, I think I already had some. And then the upgrades. So it just sticks. So it's just sticks around here. So sticks. I already have some. So now I've got four storage upgrades. Templates. We could make some more. Let's make two more. Sets. Oh, I need some sticks first of all, don't I? I make lots of sticks. Okay, so. That goes around one of these, huh? That'll do for now. We've got six. And then from those, I'll go for the obsidian one because it's, the recipes are very similar. So you need this template, 
and then it's a cross with iron on the corners well this one's gold and this one's obsidian well I've got plenty of obsidian the next one's diamonds which is a weeny bit expensive and emeralds even more expensive for the extra sizes probably better using two sets of chests so let's do that one okay how many have I got so I've got six upgrades that's perfect so oh I need to do some more of these don't I want to do this one So I need some more templates. I've forgotten to do that. Let's do that. Okay. Templates sticks around here. Another four templates. Okay. Now what do we have to do for this storage level ones? Let's have a look. We'll do one of each. Sticks. Our redstone torches, which I have enough to make extra separately. Make four redstone torches. I'll make six. Look wrong. So that's one. I'm getting a bit full, never mind, let's do the other one anyway. Ah, these are redstone capacitors, uh, I don't know what the recipe for those is off the top of my head. I don't make these very often. Ah, okay. Uh, it's just stone with redstone torches and another quartz. So we got that actually, we can do most of that I think. With the exception of stone, anyway, stone, redstone torches. And quartz we've got in this chest here. Uh, as well, I shall have to get rid of some stuff I've got on me. Let's put the, the, the extra red so torches on the way, on the torch way up here. Now that quartz, I want another quartz. One of those, just need one of those, don't we? That went in the middle, and then we wanted three stone at the bottom, didn't we? So let's go and get some stone. And then it was just three pieces of stone at the bottom. Made one comparator. I need two of those, don't I? So I need some more redstone torches. Okay, let's do that again then. Let's put the stone in here on my universal chest. And redstone torches. Another three of those, huh? Maybe I should stand to the side here. And one more. Oh, I got the right recipe. Yes. Right, I've now got two of those, so that's perfect. So let's go back to this recipe here. Okay, so it's one template in the middle, four sticks. Two imperators and two redstone torches. And then we have the second one of these. Right, now let's do something with these. Over here I've still got some space, I've sorted out my the order of things go in here and I've got a little bit of space, there's a space for a chest there and there's some space for some barrels and whatever here, so let's put some here, so let's put, no, this is number four, let's put that one there and that one there, and then in here will come whatever comes in, so let's first of all take the upgrades and apply those to there, and then let's take one of these, Stick that up there, I'll stick that on there. Now, when you shift right click, you open up the. Oh, I can put some more storage upgrades in here. You have five, you see. And the same here, too. Yes, so I made six, that's fine. So, this has got apples in it at the moment. And what's nice is to show you what's, what's in these chests. A bit like the better barrels, but you can have multiple of them. 
And the upgrade's a lot easier and quicker to do than the uh, than the better barrels. I'm not quite sure. I think this will show you the redness will show you when it's full. And here it will show you how full it's getting. So let's do an example of that. Let's take some wood out of here. Too much, okay. And it's exactly the same behaviour as um, so it's one right click puts what you one stack in and double right click puts everything in. You see? So and there you see now it's, it's starting to show how full that is a sort of a slider. I think that's excellent. Not a nice chest. Especially for things which you don't need huge quantities of, like well, these are pretty big quantities, but some of these other chests won't have that many quantities of huge things in it. So it's a really nice little new mod that they've introduced. But also what I want to do is I want to make some more labels. And these are basically labels are oh, I need some more wood, don't I? Let's get some more planks. Got plenty of planks in this uh, just it, so come on, 64 planks, and then put some of this wood into this sawmill. So what you do to make um, planks is what you have to do is make a row of three like this. That'll make six um, pressure plates. No, not pressure plates. I want slabs. Like six slabs. Right, so you've got enough slabs there. And then what you do is you, with the slabs you arrange them like this in the pattern of six and that gives you as many as you have so it's relatively expensive so i've got 17 labels now and then the label all you have to do is shift click on the on the chest you want to put them on like this ah it does take a space i've forgotten so I'd have to move that chest out of the way. Actually, let's do that because it's quite a good exercise as well. So I need to move chest. I need one diamond dolly. A dolly, doesn't matter which type of dolly. I also want one um, label here. And I don't need, I do need that. I don't need that here at the moment. I really want to make space for four things actually. So what I want to do is first of all capture this is a blank, if you look at this, this is a blank pattern. What I want to do is capture this, and when I capture it, it'll make a ping. It's a higher pitched ping. So then I can move the dolly, the chest, from here to here, for example. And then, with this, the crescent hammer, I right click that, it takes the, server, uh, the filter away. And then here I can put the filter back on again. And then, with the, with the red print, you see it says duct. I just right click it, it doesn't make any noise, but then if I go and have a look at this here now, whatever it was was in the filter before is now copied across to this filter. And then all I want to do next is to erase this by shift right clicking and it makes a slightly another ping. And then we can put that away in this out of the way here. In fact what I'll also do is I'll put a lot of redstone in this all. But better it sort of somehow indicate what this is in this chest so let's say take uh, some green slime really it's tinker's construct stuff isn't it so something that represents tinker's construct oh, about one of these okay and what you do is you shift right click the label here and when you've done that it opens up the f up the, the gui and then you can say let's put a cross in the middle for example a bow over one side and what was the other thing i took for tinker's construct a, a congealed slime. Actually, let's do it this way around. And then you get this nice sort of visualization of what's in the chest. Same with this one. I won't do it on this one because these are all uh, temp casts and I don't have spare casts. Okay, right back to putting labels on things. Okay. So, right click, right click. Oops, now if I get it wrong, it goes there. So what we do with this one, is I think this is the one that I want my... 
yeah, we'll just do this. We'll take an axe here and hit it with the axe, and it comes off quite easily. In the back bit. Right. That's all of these chests which are labelled. So I then have to simply put what's in the in the chest somewhere or other. And of course, with these type of uh, drawers, I don't need to put a label on, which is rather nice too. So. I think there was one more thing I wanted. Ah, look here. See, this one here is, is connected to that twice. I don't want that connection because it's got no filter on. So I just right-click it and it disappears. If I want, at some later time, if I want to put it back again, I right-click this con uh, item duct here and it should put it back again. That's, we have to be in the right position. It's difficult to do the ones below, for example, because you can't get down. You have to drill a hole in the floor and then try and do it that way. It's a bit awkward. Um, and I think... Oh, what else do we have for these? Uh, let's have a look. What else do we have? Oh, you can lock them as well. You, have, you can have a void, and the rest of these are just different types of wood. What I haven't done is this one here, the trim. Let's have a look at the recipe for oak trim. So that's five blocks with um, corners of sticks. Let's see what happens with that one. I wonder if this works when you've got um, existing... Actually, you should use different wood. But I haven't got any. So five blocks with sticks in the corners. So it's probably just decoration. Let's see what happens if we go and decorate these these chests here. Oh, not what I wanted to do at all, was it? Oak trim. Hmm. I'm not sure what we do with oak trim. It's another one of these drawers, because we have we got another drawer for the a four drawer here, so let's put that four drawer down here. Now what happens if we track the oak trim onto it? That's oak drawers, oak trim. Maybe nothing, because it is already oak. Hmm, okay. Let's just take some another wood. I've got plenty of spruce wood in here so let's just do the same thing with spruce wood so spruce wood was it would probably be have I got four sticks no I haven't got four sticks let's just get four sticks okay so now we have sticks I can't just do right click on E, it just puts it into the ship. The left click, shift left click takes it out again. Well, I don't know what the trim does, but there we are. It looks a bit uh, oak trim. Hmm, I shall have to read about it. Okay, well, that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and until next time, bye for now.